We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles to gadget reviews Man, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges to a midweek meal packed app. Crack your eggs, bake. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. In today's episode, we're having a romantic night in for Valentine's Day. And what better way to celebrate than cooking our two chefs a romantic three course meal. But here's the catch. Each of us normals are cooking a course each and you chose exactly what we were going to make. At the end of their romantic meal, Ben and James will collectively decide which dish was their favorite and who they want to snog, marry and avoid. Ugh. As professional chefs, Ben and James spend their lives cooking for other people. So this Valentine's Day, I want to give them a special experience that they'll never forget. They haven't had a chance to look after their own hair, skin, face, nails or dress sense. So today, this should be all about them. If we want this to go well, it has to be perfect if they stand any chance of starting a beautiful relationship. Three, two, one, and we begin. So I am making a wonton mee, which are pork and shrimp dumplings with a beautiful porcini sauce and a chili pickle as well. I think, I think I've bitten off more than I can chew here. I say I, you chose this, so you've screwed me over. Okay, uh, so I'm going to start off by making my, well, the dumpling dough, which is flour, egg, salt, and then added water in slowly. For my main course, I'm making lamb fat crumpets with a rack of lamb, grilled lettuce, and a black garlic mayo. My crumpets started two days ago uh, when I had to make the batter, and it's needed that long to amalgamate all of those flavors. Now I need to actually cook them in some lamb fat in a five centimeter ring, and we'll grill them later just before we serve up. I am making a sticky toffee bunt cake. Um, never made one before. I'm already bored of chopping dates. I've got some walnuts to chop later, so already started well. I swear to you, that's, that's not right. That's not me, that's the recipe. If, it does it. if that's not right, that's the recipe. Actually, that is a really good point. If none of these dishes work, it's the fault of the person who wrote the recipe. Yep. Yeah. Ben wrote this recipe. James wrote this recipe. James wrote this one. They've got themselves to blame. Yep. Chop dates in a pan with some water and some baking soda. Bring it up to a boil, five minutes. It was a simmer, bring it up to a simmer. Whilst those crumpets are cooking, I'm gonna make some black garlic mayo. Dijon mustard, egg yolks, garlic, cocoa powder and charcoal powder into a mini food processor, then blitz. The F type of recipe for a mayo has cocoa powder in it. So the batter is beating together eggs, softened butter, and I'm beating that together with brown sugar. Do I say something? What would you do in this situation? <laughs> I think I am in this situation. I oh, know, exactly, I'm running by you. Mike. Better friend than me. Better friend than me. What's up? <laughs> Once the dates are softened, <laughs> drain them and let them cool in a bowl. My pickled chilies are simple. Vinegar, salt, icing sugar, warm water and green chilies. Mix it up and then pour it over the chilies and then Leave it for as long as possible. <laughs> Why has that got baking soda in it? It tastes of pure baking soda. Let's see how this goes. Next step is to knead my dough for 10 minutes. I'm going to treat this like a 10 minute workout. This is going to be heck. Mike, I should have used the machine. I mean, that can't be right, can it? Do you not think the two of us are at a distinct disadvantage to the guy who has watched James make all of these <coughs> recipes not according to that. It's not helping me. Half of my flour mixture goes in. Ginger, baking powder, walnuts, ow. It says to put this in. And I'm worried about that. For two reasons. Number one, it's black and I burnt it. Number two, it tastes like baking soda, not dates. Well, I can't work out if I've got the ratios wrong because I feel like I need to ask James for the integrity of the recipe. James, I'm only used to having one hand available because the other one is holding yours. Right. 
You've been told to reread the recipe. So really, the only problem with the integrity of the recipe is actually the integrity of you being able to read. Yeah. Right. Baz, you do know that we're up against the time. Yeah, sure, sorry, mate. Oh, sorry, out of the way. <laughs> what? Now I am taking some butter and I am making sure it's in every single crevice. I'm gonna bake this off at 170 for 45 minutes. My toffee sauce is pretty standard in that it's sugar, butter, double cream, melted together, but there's a couple of cool little twists in there. Golden syrup, make it extra sweet, some ground cloves, and some instant gold leaf coffee from a pretentious <laughs> ingredients video. It won't make any difference, but you know. Next up, I need to sieve my mayonnaise which is a sentence I never thought I'd hear myself saying, but here we are. I have had to reread the recipe and it turns out that you're meant to add the water and then stop when it starts coming together. Don't use all the water that it says in the recipe. That's just a guide of how much it could take. It's coming together, so therefore, stop. Leave it for 10 minutes, come back to it. When you come to do your lamb, how high has it got to be? Because this is quite girthy. It's only little, it's a little lamb. Okay, so is your name Mary or something? <laughs> I can't see any wontons that Barry's made. I reckon I've got about an hour. Well, you need to hurry up! I know! <laughs> that goes in there. My wonton filling is really easy, so I really shouldn't screw this oh, up. For that. Ginger, pork mince, king prawns, egg white, soy sauce, oyster sauce, sesame oil, and light brown sugar into a food processor and give it a quick blitz. That's, that's it. I'm going to get ahead by making the vinaigrette for my lettuce. And what I'll do is I'll griddle the white wine vinegar, Dijon mustard, <laughs> olive oil. Come on, in you go, in you go. Yeah, you lad. We've yes, I congratulated you. myself. Oh, s***. <laughs> 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 what's, what's the matter? I think, I've, I think it's been over needed. Let's just go with this. It might be all right. Cover it and leave it for half an hour. Baz, you've got to leave. You've got to let it rest. Yep. We've got maximum 45 minutes left. And so you're going to be able to wrap them and cook them in 15 minutes? I'm going to have to. Well, get prepped. Do you not think he should have started an hour before us? I didn't pick this recipe. You should have just got it right first time. Well, there could have been that. To get my lamb going, I've seasoned it with salt and pepper. Now I've got to rub some black mayo over it. I am quickly losing confidence. Fry that on both sides until golden brown. Then that has to go into an oven for 10 to 15 minutes. Then it has to rest for 10 minutes. Oh, it tastes a lot more Better. The time is currently 4.33. We're serving dinner at five. Early bird special for Ebers. <laughs> Whoever hasn't got their dish finished by five o'clock doesn't get to serve it up. If they get their dishes in the wrong order, then so be it. I'm doing a really simple sauce. It's porcini mushrooms and garlic and sugar and a load of Chinese ingredients from throwing into a pan, bring into a boil and let it simmer for, says here, 20 minutes, but we've only got 10, so 10 minutes it is. For my lettuce, I'm going to cut it in half and then griddle it on one side so slightly blackened, cooked lettuce, James's favourite. Uh, and then I'm going to toss it in my little vinaigrette that I've made. Oh, bunty. Ah, it's hot! How do you mean to put like a, isn't it really easy, like a little, little skewer rather than a wooden spoon end? Hey, mate, you can be focusing on other more important things. I'm stabbing it in the bottom with the back of a wooden spoon and then filling all the holes with some of my toffee sauce. Ah, oh, thank you, sir. This actually feels pretty good. Boys, first service, 15 minutes. Have you done any cooking yet? No! <laughs> oh, Barry, yeah. what's the matter? Yeah, I'm about to do the hardest bit. What I'll do now is dollop my filling into the middle, pick up all the corners so it's like a money bag, and then put it into the water for two to three minutes. Oh, I might be okay, I might be okay. That is a baked bunt. Whether it will come out of the bunt tin is another matter. That's going to rest for a little while. We take that out. That has reached a maximum of 58.5 degrees Celsius. And it had to be somewhere between 55 and 60. So, nailed it. 
Seven minutes till service. Seven minutes, right. I'm gonna say they are some chunky wontons. Five minutes. How long do your wontons take to cook? Two to three minutes. Here. You could make it, come on. So these are gonna go in. Baz, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, anything two, else? How good anything else? One, no you've done it. Well, well done mate, that's amazing. Right, get them in there. Get them in there. Just so you know, I think the waiter just stuck his finger in it to check it was hot enough. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that over your shoulder. Yeah, it's about food poisoning. <laughs> Uh, here's your first course. Uh, these are uh, wonton mies. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Seamless. It's well presented. They all look conveniently similar. Not identical, but rustically similar. Oh wow, you need a knife and fork. Yeah, it's a knife and fork kind of one song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever ever mentioned James, but I've been to China and I remember the pastry being a bit thinner there. <laughs> Cheers. Bon appetit. It's not as terrible as I thought it might be. It tastes great. Mm. The thing is about this dish is that it's not very difficult, apart from the thin pastry. And that's probably the only thing letting it down. So what kind of um, what kind of food do you like to cook in your spare time? Oh, that's a great question. I love baking bread. So you're a bit needy then? I'm a, I'm a little bit needy. Every mouthful packs a punch. Heavy on garlic and all the flavours of kind of sweet, salty, sour. I'm honestly so surprised that this, this tastes good. Better than I expected, but the more dough I ate, the less impressed I was. Super tasty. Mmm, yes, it was delicious, thank you. Nice. Thank you. I've got to try and quenelle that mayo onto the plate. It's more grayo than mayo. I know, all right. Are you happy with that? That could be pinker, couldn't it? It's dark in there, they might not see. It's quite claggy. I'm in. Oh, I don't want to be in! You are in. Excuse me. Can we get some cutlery? Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> just want some more knives and forks. <laughs> I hope it tastes better than it looks. Must see. <laughs> so decent. That is a good crumpet. Mm, this is good. It's done great. First impression on the lamb, I thought it might have been a little over, but I don't think it is. The mayo is deliciously garlicky. But sweet. Not like garlicky garlicky. I've got a lot of time for a grilled lettuce. I feel like it could have been grilled a bit more. Ben, what do you like to do at the weekends? Is it outdoorsy? I know you're an outdoorsy person. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I can be pretty lazy when it comes to Netflix, but definitely outdoors. I can't stop flirting, you. I, I, you I, can't drop Netflix and chill in the first there's minute. There's more to see outside than there is to get stuck inside. Can you beat a good walk and a pub lunch? And if there's a dog involved, bonus. That's actually so good. I'm so impressed. Are you having the best Valentine's Day ever? I'm having one of the best Valentine's Days ever, yes. Another brilliant dish. Custard, six egg yolks, caster sugar, corn flour, whisk it. I've heated up some double cream and vanilla extract, then you pour that over the top of your whisked yolky mixture to create something smooth that resembles custard. Back in there, back on the heat to heat up, and the corn flour's gonna thicken it, but also stop the egg scrambling. Let me just stir this skin off. This is moment of truth. Oh no! You've just got to commit. Ready? You've just got to do it. No, I've got to go slow. What does it look like? You've nailed it! Yes, they so hot! <laughs> okay. Is everything all right in there? I'm not sure I've got room for dessert, but perhaps a small one. You're a terrible dinner oh. party, <laughs> But it's already portioned it, that's a shame. Oh my goodness. Sir? Wow, fantastic. Sir? Thank you. Bon appetit. Now, if I had to pick, 
a favourite dessert, as in like a big warm hug, I think sticky toffee might be it. I wish he'd um, given us a jug of custard, because I'm definitely going to want more custard. I'm sure if we ask nicely. I'm definitely going to want more custard. That is naughty, but very nice. It's rich and dark and kind of almost treacly, but I guess that comes from the dates mm. with so added crunch of walnut. Thank so you. Red. I think the custard maybe is just like a touch bland, maybe a little more, a little more vanilla. And it's come out clean as well. Look at that. A good bunt. A good bunt, unless, he, unless the other half just fell out and then he picked the other half out. We'll never know. And I guess that's part of being in a restaurant. You never know what's going on in the kitchen. And sometimes you're <laughs> thankful for it. I, I think you and I are the clear winners here. I don't know, I could do with some more wine. <laughs> is there a sommelier in sight? <laughs> Not the <laughs> no, 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 Strong meal altogether. It's been a whirlwind experience. I've really enjoyed it first date too, James. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We've made our decision. Marry, snog, avoid. It was a close call. The person we're going to avoid... He's probably used to it. Mr. Taylor with the wontons. I it's Barry. Of, I kind of expected that. I had a bit of a mare. Pucker up because the snog position. Cool. <laughs> Don't use the word snog. Goes <laughs> to our sticky date pudding. Okay, I'll take that. Mike. Well done. Well done. Really? I'll just go ahead. That's it's your face. It was great. I was I'm actually done. shocked by that. The crumpets were so good. Were they? Lamb was good, crumpets were good, two sauces, vinegar and mayo. Very good. Well done, mate. I'm shocked. Well done. We're going to leave a very good Google and TripAdvisor review. We might come back. I'll just have the tip, if possible. The recipes in this video are from our ever-growing range of cookbooks, which, as a sorted club member, you can get delivered straight to your door or use the Books app to enjoy the full collection anytime you like. It's all included in the Sorted Club, along with all our other apps. Head to sorted.club to check it out. And now a blooper. People keep telling me to do this. Have you seen in the... Oh, you've already done it. You're taking your rings off. I sometimes do, sometimes don't. So do I, because sometimes I enjoy the added flavour that they bring. The thing is, before cooking, I always wash my ring. <laughs>